Hi dear students and welcome to the NIOS Home Science Practical number 11 and it is about identification of fabrics using the burning test. The objectives involved in this practical are number one, identification of fabrics using the burning test. Number two, to help us get away from these cheating salesmen who will provide us with different types of material instead of the original ones. And third one, to choose the best fabric for us. As you know, you have been given with the list of materials and the procedure of how to do the practical test. And on the next page, you have been provided with a table in which you have to give the samples of 10 different strips. I will try my best to do at least 10, but if I am not able to, then I will be doing maximum of 6 to 7, which will then, the rest of the columns, you can fill it by yourself practicing different type of materials and you can write the name of the material also from where did you collect that sample then after the doing the practical I will explain to you the related questions so let's come towards the practical part so dear students the materials required for the practical are a matte stick or you can also use a disposable lighter Forceps. I'm using a thin forceps so that I can easily pull out the yarn and hold it during the flame test. Different samples of fabrics as you can see here which is mixture of polyester, silk, wool, linen etc. A pin that will just help me or a needle that will just help to remove the yarn or the thread out of the, cot out of the fabric easily. Fine. So first of all I have lit up the candle and I have used a plate. I'm using a glass plate here so that I don't have any burnt area left. You can also use a disposable aluminium plate so that you can see the texture using the help of your forceps later for the fabrics when burnt. So let us start with the practical. First I'm taking one sample of this cloth and I'll try to pull out the yarn. I'll use the help of my needle or the help of the forceps to pull it out. You just have to <coughs> poke it and then push it towards outside. During this process you are going to see many yarns coming out as you can see from here. Take any one or the longest one with the help of your forceps and pull it out as you can see here. I'll use one and then you need to approach it to the flame. During the burning test you need to keep in mind five important things and they are what happens to the fabric while approaching near the flame, what happens to the fabric when it is burning, what happens to the fabric when removed from the burning uh, flame, what happens to the fabric's odor, how the odor is, whether a gas is produced or what the smell is like. And finally, the fifth thing and the last one is to see its residue, how it is. The ash type or how it looks like or whether it is hard or etc. Depends upon different materials of the fabric. So let's see what happens to this material, this fabric when brought close to the flame but not burnt. When I bring it close to the frame, it scorches and then lightens quickly as you can see here. I will show you again. When we bring it close to the frame, it scorches and then lightens quickly. During this process also you can have the smell. But let us go step by step. To make it more better, I will cut the fabric and have instead of yarn, the full cloth using the help of my scissor. Take this and see. So you know, as you go to the cotton, it lightens and scorches, you see here. And when it burns, it burns quickly giving a yellow flame continues to burn when removed from the fire as you saw and then the smell for the smell again what I will do is cut one more sample from the same fabric and use the help of my forceps and see let us see when removed from the flame it still continues to burn and the odor is just like a burning paper and the left over is a light, you can use the help of your 
forceps make sure that you are not having a direct contact with your hands because they are hot and burning use the help of your forceps to identify it is very light as you can see very light moving just like an air feathery greyish in color black if it's mus mesmerized you can see there is little bit black area because it has been mesmerized but here it is completely over this type of thing that happens for a fabric is called as cotton when a cotton is burned when you approach it near the flame it lightens quickly and scorches during the flame it burns giving a yellow flame when removed it continues to burn giving a smell of a burning paper and finally the residue is a ash feathery white type let us use my second sample for the test but before that i will use the help of my kleenex just to clean up any residue from the forceps so that it doesn't give me the wrong smell or contamination of fabrics now we will try to do the test for this sample which is pink in color again use the help of your needle to just push it out or i will use again let me it's much better to use a scissor to just cut a sample out of it let's see what happens to this continues to burn even when removed out of the flame that is our in flame method so i will let it to burn same sample again i will use to see what happens when i'll take a yarn to see what happens when brought close also just like cotton it scorches and lightens quickly again see it scorches and lightens quickly now what happens when removed from the flame it continues to burn but when you try to burn it it burns more slow not as fast compared to cotton but gives again a yellowish type of flame and continues to burn later the smell is also for a burning paper and then the gray and finally the residue is a gray ash left behind black mesmerization as you can see over here this tells me it's difficult to differentiate it between a cotton but because of its slow burning power during the flame this tells you that it is a linen not a cotton so what is the difference between cotton and linen cotton burns more quickly as compared to linen but rest all the four factors are the same that is the odor the ash the approaching flame and when removed from the flame now let us try with our second sample my second sample i'm going to be taking is something from this piece of lace i'll take the scissors again just cut the part of the lace so that i can get this area you can see here okay i will take half piece of it try to find for its first yarn so that i can get to know when approach the flame how does it look like let us bring it close to the fire when i bring it close it starts to burn but very slowly very slowly gives an after glow you can see this is an after glow okay 
and left behind with a black or grey residue or just like cotton again so let's try the full piece now very slow burning and it is little bit of flickering burning is going on because of the yarn how it is distributed fine a flickering yarn it sizzles and then tries to curl itself and continues to burn just like as cotton it continues to burn after and then gives you and leaves you out with a grey residue you can see the grey residue here and black because of mesmerized area from there this also gives you a thing that it is cotton but how can you differentiate it from linen and cotton and maybe it is a different type it's curling effect and sizzling it's sizzling, curling and flickering flame the slow movement it tells you that it is a jute it is a jute and it has an afterglow also so how does it make it different from linen and cotton linen is slower than cotton while burning while jute is giving a flickering type of light this is what tells you this is a jute let me try with my one more sample 